What's going on everyone, Tutorial Tim here, and today I have some very useful tips and tricks to improve your design workflow within Figma. And before we get started, we're going to need a couple pieces of software. I have the Better Touch tool link in the description. Uh, download the trial, and then I would also recommend downloading the Carabiner Elements um, program. And with that, we're gonna go ahead and configure those. So with the first one, that being Better Touch tool, if you open up Better Touch tool, you can go ahead and add an app from the file system. So it's going to open up your finder and you're going to want to select Figma as an application and then hit open. And then from there, what that basically does is um, whatever keys you configure within that application, it will execute assigned actions. And in order to create an action, we're gonna to want to ensure that we have the normal mouse selected because what we're going to do is, instead of constantly moving our hands to the delete key on our keyboard, we're actually just going to do that directly from our mouse and with our, our left hand staying in place on the keyboard so you're not uh, losing track of where you originally were. So I already have this key created. So if I go ahead and um, delete this key and create it from scratch, I can go ahead and select app from file system and then I'm gonna select Figma and then ensure that my normal mouse property is selected and I'm going to click on this plus button here and add a new trigger and what I'm going to do is basically just select a trigger it, it needs a modifier key so if I hold down command and hit right click um, that will be my mouse button that's recorded and then I'm gonna check on this command so when I hold down command and right click I can assign an action and what I want that to do is delete. So if I go to no action and uh, type in the search bar, if I go ahead and hit delete, I can select forward delete and I now have this action. So what is that gonna do for me? So if we hop into Figma, I can go ahead and just create a bunch of rectangles, right? And this is extremely useful because now you don't have to take your hand off of the mouse to delete elements in the canvas. And this has been a game changer for me. So all I'm doing actually is hitting holding down command and, and right clicking and it's deleting. So I'm previously, before deleting, I, of course I have to have that element selected. So I'm selecting, holding down command, right clicking, and it's deleting that element for me, which is extremely helpful. This applies to anything that is an active selection on the canvas, which is awesome. And I can select all these elements and then hold down command, right click, and I've now just deleted everything while not moving my hands from the mouse, which is very convenient. So I can go ahead and show you again with my mouse in the in the view here. So I'm holding down command and just right clicking and it removes everything from the canvas, which is very convenient. And the next thing we're going to do is rebind two different keys on our keyboard that will also be very helpful for you um, while designing. This will, This personally for me allows me to keep all of my fingers in one specific sort of radius on the keyboard, my left hand and my right hand on the mouse. Um, so we can go ahead and get started by opening up the Carabiner Elements um, app. And what I've done here is I'm gonna go ahead and remove these. I can select add item and from the key caps lock, I want to change that to the key escape. And then you're gonna to wanna to add another item and do the exact, uh, inverse operation. So just go from the escape key, you want that to select the caps lock modifier key. So what does that do? So when I am designing in the canvas now, um, I don't make much use of the caps lock. I just hold down shift. Um, what I can do when I hit escape is that removes my selection. And oftentimes when I'm designing components, I have to do that, but I always have to click onto the canvas to remove my active selection. But now all I have to do is hit escape, which is my caps lock key. And that still keeps my hand in one place as I'm designing my left hand. So I don't have to use my 
my left pinky to reach the top left of my keyboard to hit escape. My, my pinky is always on the caps lock key, which is now escape. So I can quickly design in and out of um, selections. And, and then I can actually utilize the other shortcut keys that I have um, to navigate the, the layers panel using shift tab and tab, tab to go down the layers panel and shift tab to go up. And then say I have this wrapped in a frame and then this frame has multiple child elements. I can just hit enter to deep to get into the child elements and then start tabbing through those elements as well. And this has been very helpful for me. I can hit escape now and that removes my selection. Maybe I deep select a child element, hit escape, that removes the entire selection. And those are two sort of modifications I have to my keyboard and my mouse when using Figma. And I hope that helps you design quicker. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please share it, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.